Hello, my name is Santiago Dominguez and I will present the proposition for Salvatore Ferragamo for the luxury brand management course. Uh, first, um, I will present some information about the, the Salvatore Ferragamo group and then the description of the market in which they are and how the products are distributed and in which channels and the marketing strategy of the brand and finally then i will present a proposition for the brand uh, to reposition the brand and enter to a new young market and i will explain the objectives of of this system proposition so about the the current market situation salvatore ferragamo is the parent uh, company of salvatore ferragamo group uh, is one of the world's um, uh, world leaders uh, in the luxury industry and uh, their origins date back to 1927 uh, the group is an active creation of products and sales of uh, shoes leather goods apparel silk and other products for men and for women the group um, also offer uh, eyewear watches perfumes and the manufactured licenses also for men and for women um, and it's important to mention that Salvatore Ferragamo products have been made since 1960s um, in a select uh, network of, of workshops so Another important inf information is that the CEO is Marco Covetti and they have a new creative director that uh, is Maximilian Davis that they hired um, not so long ago. So about the, the market description, uh, the brand is present in Italy and over 90 countries around the world and they cover the, the, the European, American and Asian markets um, Ferragamo a group is present through a, a network of uh, directly operated monobrand stores and um, also monobrand third-party operated stores and that those are the, the the two first channels of distribution and of course the, their own stores so uh, it's important to mention that asia pacific is the ferragamos largest market uh, where they have climbed uh, of sales a lot. They are doing a lot of good things and they have a, uh, a very, very good uh, number of sales there. And well, the total revenue uh, of Salvatore Ferragamo in general uh, in the ninth month report of 2021 um, were 33.9% uh, up than the 2020 report because they they were doing so bad uh, uh, because the pandemic well they distribute their products on europe north america japan asia pacific and latin america they are doing um, the best in asia pacific and then in north america and finally in europe japan and, and latin america are not as good as as the other three so well about uh, this this market they they sell shoes leather goods and handbags where those two products are where they are doing best they have a lot of revenue and then they continue with silk and other accessories fragrances uh, eyewear and uh, other retail incomes the marketing stra strategy of Salvatore Ferragamo is focused on shoes and leather goods because it is where they are doing best. Uh, they generate 82% of the group turnover, as I mentioned. Uh, also, they are trying to target new uh, younger generations. So they are trying to, to approach and to, to use the advantage of um, being a, a, an Italian luxury brand uh, because they, they, they have the, the iconic name and it's an iconic brand that it's well known uh, for its crafted products so they want to call the attention of new customers with um, new concepts and uh, providing a, a customer experience for, for the customers and also it's important to mention that uh, innovation and glamour 
along with an affordable pricing strategy are the key drivers of the marketing strategy uh, of Salvatore Ferragamo uh, to appeal to younger generations. So taking this into account, uh, I will present my proposition. In the first place, Ferragamo should establish that the CEO is the maximum responsible for taking decisions and managing the company. They have to uh, put some clauses on the, on the contracts that only the family members can participate on decisions of the, of the managing of the company um, in case the decision involves a change, a really, really good change in the structure of the company. This because they need to give uh, responsibilities to the CEO, to the manager, and let him manage, right? Because it, that's the, the reason he is there. And uh, well, uh, the important thing is the second thing I, I would propose, that is launching a limited edition uh, products, uh, such as sneakers and accessories. And um, with this, developing a virtual reality technology um, system in physical stores and in online stores to sell these limited edition products. Uh, what I mean is, um, well, with this virtual reality, you will be able to try um, these sneakers or these accessories and see how uh, you look. Um, it's not metaverse, it's different. It, it has a little difference that you are trying real products. You, you, you see the virtual, a product where, but you are buying a product that will be shipped to your home and you will use, you will feel someday. So with this virtual reality, you can see how it looks on yourself and maybe some description about how it smells, how it feels and well, the color, uh, a lot of things. And these products will be limited edition and th this will make, uh, this will reinforce the concepts of scarcity, quality, and uh, limited production of luxury. So the final uh, proposition also, it will be uh, a collaboration with Cristiano Ronaldo, producing a, also a limited quantity of products like watches, sneakers, and hoodies. Um, this to give more exposition to the brand and uh, calling the attention of younger customers that like, I don't know, football or uh, are in touch with uh, this figure that is Cristiano Ronaldo. So what are the objectives of this proposition? Um, I mean, with all these strategies, Salvatore Ferragamo will be able to enter to a new market, uh, calling the attention of um, younger potential customers. Also, uh, with these propositions, uh, they will have the opportunity to have a better luxury brand management, uh, changing some little things um, in, the, in the governance of the company, um, like uh, letting the 